Hi folks, Mark again. Um, bit of a random update this one. Uh, so obviously typically we've just been doing reviews on cars and uh, looking at charging and all those sorts of things. Um, but a couple of things cropped up this week that I thought you might find interesting. Um, so first, first thing is regarding uh, grid serve. Uh, I've talked about these in the past through some of my other videos uh, and also been a bit critical about the old ecotricity chargers that have been poorly maintained. Uh, anyway, I found out this week that um, subsequent to acquiring, I think it's about 25% of ecotricity a few months ago, uh, apparently last week uh, GridServe acquired the whole side of the uh, electric highway business that they've got. And sure enough, um, basically they've taken it over and uh, they're continuing with their plans to completely overhaul the uh, ecotricity charging network. So that's great news because I think that's one of the biggest issues is on motorways, dual carriageways and stuff, um, the ecotricity chargers haven't been cut, cutting it and uh, hopefully we've got a fix to that coming up very soon. Uh, but a little bit more on that in a little while. Uh, the other thing that sort of I found out as well, uh, a few days ago, it was announced that ZapMap we're going to offer a, a ZapMap Plus and a ZapMap Premium uh, subscription. Now, again, uh, I've talked about ZapMap in the past as the must-have app for charging for EV owners. And uh, the interesting thing about this is some of the changes that they've made and made available through their premium product. So if you've got ZapMap, the way you need to do this, firstly, you need to upgrade to the latest version, which is version 7. Uh, and then once you've opened the app, you go to the settings screen and one of the options on there is subscriptions. And if you click on the subscriptions option, then what you're going to see are the different premium, uh, di different subscription options they've got. So it's still free to use if you want to, uh, and there'll be ads and all those sorts of things. But there are a couple of chargeable options, uh, and you can either you can get free trial for both of the options, or, or alternatively you can just take an annual subscription, which is half the price of doing a monthly subscription. Now I'll let you guys decide whether you think it's worthwhile or not subscribing um, but personally I think as I'm going to start doing business travel in the near future uh, I think the idea of uh, some of the extra options I think they're going to be really quite useful to me and we'll talk about what some of those are um, so um, when you actually look at the subscriptions plans you can actually click on an option and actually look at them in detail uh, and then you'll get the tick boxes side by side comparing them uh, but there's two or three features that really appeal to me. Uh, the first is the ability to filter out and just find new chargers. And um, that, you know, is really quite interesting. I'm really trying to avoid old chargers because I've found them too unreliable. But the, the new chargers I've just found have been absolutely fantastic. So uh, certainly filtering by new chargers has been pretty good. Um, there's a few other things as well. Um, what three words is interesting. I don't know whether any of you have ever used what three words. I, I've used it for quite a while because um, as a hobby, I'm a geocacher. Google it if you don't know what it is. Uh, but it's like a treasure hunting game and you use longitude, latitude coordinates to, to find pieces of Tupperware hidden in woods and stuff like that. And what three words came out a few years ago uh, as a way of basically navigating you to a three meter square area uh, of, of the planet, anywhere on the planet. Um, and uh, some geocachers have used those in puzzles. Um, but to be honest, I find them really quite useful because from a, a, a point of view, you know, it's all right navigating to a postcode if you're in a built up area, but if you're out in the countryside, um, and you want to find somebody then you know where are they so I've, I've had the what three words app on my phone for quite a few years now and uh, I've also heard that the emergency services are starting to use it when people break down or something happens and they're in trouble and they're injured uh, and they might say if you can download what three words onto your phone give us your location we'll be able to find you much easier um, so I'd recommend you look at that anyway regardless of zap map um, but if you do go to that map now what you'll find is all the chargers have got a what three words location uh, if you use the plus and the premium option now what that means is that uh, there's none of that driving around uh, streets in an area trying to find out where the charger is and um, the what three words option will take you literally to a three meter square location and if you can't find the charger within three meters then i think you've you know, you're in serious trouble so uh, again uh, a useful additional feature 
Um, and of course the other one that is really, really useful, uh, but it's only available on the premium option, is ZapMap now appears in Apple CarPlay. So you can actually now use ZapMap as your sat-nav, uh, which is fantastic news. So that in itself is really, really cool, uh, really quite good. And um, again, you know, it's up to you whether you think that's something that you'd want to uh, apply to. So just have a quick look at some of the options. I mean, the first thing is on the filters, the, when you're actually searching a map and you want to filter down, got quite a few more options on filters now. Um, again, I like to use the fast charger filter to limit the, the fast charges that we find. Um, there's a multiple device filter, which is quite neat as well. So it'll only show you locations where there's multiple devices. Um, so that hopefully will eliminate hanging around, waiting for somebody to finish a charge before you can jump on. Um, and then of course, there's the 30 day um, new devices option. Um, so that will show you all the charges that have uh, basically gone live within the last 30 days. So it helps you find brand new uh, chargers. Now I've actually emailed ZapMap today because uh, I'd like to be able to change the date parameter on that. Because from my point of view, it's like, actually, if I look for, I want to look for a charger that's been put there in the last six months, not 30 days. Because if you look in the last six months, I can pretty much guarantee it'll probably be in a good shape, good condition uh, and, and be well maintained. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if they respond to that. Again, if you think that's a good idea and a good option, um, maybe you could also email ZapMap and maybe, you know, they'll listen to us uh, and, and include that as a feature. So just out of interest to have a quick look at the map locally, uh, I've used that 30-day um, feature to have a look at the map. Um, so again, it's interesting to see how many new charges have come about just in the last 30 days, which is quite interesting. And really tying into the first story, if you look at my nearest one, which is Norton Kane Services on the M6 toll, uh, what you'll see is the new charges there are grid serve electric highway. Um, and actually when you click on a lot of those pink options on the last 30 days uh, you'll find the majority of them are uh, grid surf electric highway ones so they really are pushing forward uh, really quite quickly uh, with the rollout of their chargers um, and again if we look at the details of that in a little bit more detail what you'll see toward just underneath the location you'll see a W3W option and those are the three words that you can use to navigate it to. So instead of having to remember a postcode or a longitude and latitude coordinates, you can go to the What Three Words app, type those three words in, and it'll navigate you to a three meter square where the charges are based. Um, and again, you know, looking at the What Three Words map in a bit more detail, we can actually see the uh, services at Norton Keynes broken down into three metre squares on the grid and we can see exactly where the charges are based. So uh, that I think is going to be a bit of a lifesaver. So uh, I think that's all there is really for now, but I, there were just two pieces of news that I thought were really, really important and um, thought I'd share them with you. Uh, hope you find it useful. Uh, say, go and have a look at the grid serve acquisition if you want some details on that. Upgrade to ZapMap. Um, version 7 and maybe do the trial if you want to try out the new features uh, and again grab what three words and stick that up on your phone um, have a play with that and you'll get to see how that works if you've not experienced it before and um, one last thing it's just worth mentioning um, that the um, Android Auto is also coming in ZapMap shortly uh, they reckon that will be available in July if you've got an Android phone so uh, at the moment it's just for Apple users anyway thanks for listening again and hopefully speak to you soon